Hey guys, my name is Thais, and on the channel right now, I'm working on some plant stuff. So, in this video, I wanted to show you guys this because <laughs> I had propagated these begonia leaves, like, in the summer, and um, I'm not the best with keeping up with water. I'm an underwaterer, um, so I didn't fill it up as frequently as I should have. And I noticed today that some of the leaves were dying because the water didn't reach up to the roots. But then look at inside, guys. Don't mind my nails. Isn't that so cute? There's a whole bunch of little begonia babies. So today, I'm going to take these out of here um, and pot them up. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys. And I probably will take um and pot them up probably back in the same pot um just because i don't i'm trying to like condense my collection and um you know make a fuller plant rather than multiple plants um these are really great for a little terrarium though so um i'm gonna put them in um the the pot uh with this other begonia but in the future, because they are so tiny, um, I may take them out for a little terrarium project. So we'll see. So I got my tools and um, a little tray just because it's too cold in the garage and there's no way that's happening in there. I'm going to do it in here. And um, here's the plant. I bought this last year. It was one of the first begonias I bought. I know it's the Rex variety, but I don't know exactly um, the name. Do you guys know the name? Please let me know. It's so cute. It's one of my favorite begonias. The texture on it on, is just so beautiful. And like, I love how it changes color as it grows, but they like, they all look similar, like coppery. It's such a beautiful plant and um, I love how like tall it is too. I love how tall it grows. Um, I'm actually gonna trim it up a little bit because there are some dry pieces. And, uh, but I'm gonna stick everything in here back in here. And I will be repotting this in the, sum in the spring just because I feel like this soil is probably a little old. Um, and I think that next time I also water this plant, I'm going to be Fertilizing. I think I'm going to be fertilizing at the beginning of next week in February. So today is the last day. So first I'm just um, aerating the roots a little bit. You can't really see what I'm doing. But um, I'm just like moving it around a little bit just so it's a little bit easier to plant in here. It was a little compact before. So these cuttings. Okay, so I was afraid of this. It's a little it's gonna be kind of hard. Okay, so um, these roots, I thought they were dead, but I'm assuming that the roots come out brown like this. None of them are mushy. I don't know if begonia roots are supposed to be brown or an end or like red or um, if they're supposed to be white. The ends are a little bit white. I don't know, this is a little suspicious, so I might leave this back in there. Um, and let me ask my mom, hold on. Um, so my mom's upstairs and she can't hear me. And I'm not about to go walk upstairs to ask her, so I'm just gonna wait till she comes down here. And I might have to get tweezers for some of these. Look at the little baby. Oh my goodness, look how cute. This is adorable, guys. I 
I might keep these babies. I said I was gonna put them in the pot, but I think that because they're so small, let me get some tweezers. Okay, new plan. New plan, I just pulled this off and I'm just gonna repropagate this because it does, does propagate from the stem. So I'm just gonna take these little babies and I'm just gonna hope for the best, stick them in the water again. But I feel like they shouldn't be fully submerged. Um, maybe I should put a couple rocks in here. Let's think about that. Okay. New plan. I just got some marble chips. be really gentle I just ripped off a little leaf it says thank you pretty sure I got this from like a birthday or something save everything I save everything Okay, great. So now once I put the plant there, it won't just like fall in the water. It'll like be on these top of these rocks as a little as a like a little reservoir. I'm just gonna rinse these out because um, they're a little dirty. Okay. Should probably use these tweezers, huh? There we go. Um, okay, redo. I need to put more rocks in here. All right, I filled more rocks in here. Just so it's gonna be like a little reservoir. It's like a makeshift little terrarium without a top. And see, I'm so bad with being gentle with these because look, a little piece already came off. Luckily, it has a little root here too. So I can just stick it in there. I wish you guys could see this. It's so cute. I'll give you an uh, aerial view later. You already know I don't plan anything through, so I just do it as it goes. I'm more of like a visual, um, visual person, so I can't really plan things because I can't really visualize it until I've like done it. As you can see, I was rough for babies. Um, I think I'm going to only leave um, two or three pieces in here though because I feel like this is too many and they might be fighting for space in here once they get bigger. So maybe I'll start with just two and then I feel like as it grows, I'll see. Okay guys, so here's what we got. Um, once the roots start going down, they'll stand more straight up I think. And I'll do an update for you guys to see, but I'm really excited to see how these will grow. And then I put the other ones here back in this pot. Um, it's a little cold in my garage, or else I would have put it in my terrarium in my garage. But I don't want to be adding more plants in there right now. It's way too cold, and I don't feel like turning on a heater. So yeah, that's it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was really short. But, um, I feel like shorter videos are better. Which one do you guys like, shorter or longer? I personally don't mind. I like watching both shorter ones, and sometimes I like, I'll even watch an hour-long chore video. But, um, 
so yeah i'll just post i'll just post both and see which one gets more views more better feedback all right guys see you in the next one so this is Thais from the future, and um, I just noticed something on my begonia on the little tiny babies that I had potted up in the soil, and um, I just wanted to share it before the end of the video because I just should have known better, honestly. I really should have. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have taken them out of the water, and I should have been, let them been growing in water because that's... They were too tiny. They, I don't think they would have ever survived in the soil. Like, I don't know what I was thinking. But I lost a lot of them. I mean, they're like tiny little stumps. So let me show you guys. It's the next day. And I just wanted to show you guys that I literally never learned my lesson. Why did I think it was okay to take tiny little babies out of water and completely right away transplant it into soil? Why did I think that was okay? I'm really not even ever learning my lesson, am I? I've taken them out and put them in water again. Um, but as you can see, the leaves with that were completely perfect in that pot. When I put that in, put it in that pot, um, and now they're all they all look like this. And I I don't know what I was thinking. I can't I can't remember if it was one day or two days ago. But basically, this is what happened. I should have just left it in the water. I still have some others in others in the water. Let me show you what it looks like. So I have some in a pot and then I have the other ones in here, but as you can see, these are way happier than the ones that were in the pot. Um, I was afraid that it would be a lot harder to take them out if I didn't because the vessel that I had them in, that they grew in, um, was very thin. And you saw how difficult it was to pull them out as babies like this, but I should have just left all of them in water and not put them in soil, but I've learned my lesson. Okay guys, so that's it. Um, I'm gonna go do a whole bunch of other chores um, for more plant chores, you know. And um, I might do some other videos too. You guys like my hair? I washed it today. Looks cute. But all right, I'm gonna um, water this as soon as I said like the dehumidifier create some water um i'm gonna grab some stick it in here and um that'll be it i'm gonna stick this back in my china cabinet where is where i where is where i keep my begonias um so yeah that's it i'll post an update and thank you guys so much for watching the video i'll see you in the next one